fire sign oh, this is the energy vibration um reading for you fire sign um so let's go in the reading i am late for slam this month i'm so late but i got so much to do all right fire sign people let's go in and see what is coming up for the fire sign send moon horizon sign what is coming up for you guys sun is too much all right um i am going to turn these blinds down okay all right guys this is much better all right so let's see what's coming up for the aries leo and sagittarius oh la la love triangle oh there is a lot that is coming out so remember how this works these are collective readings however these are transparent these are definitely um collective readings so in order to get your extended use the link below and um use the link here in order to connect with my channel so for you fire signs um let's see what's coming out for the fire sign in the month of april remember you have to also use the timer about down um, below this video in order to pick up where sagittarius is and where the ophiosis is okay um so let's go in it so what I'm seeing is that some of you wallflower ladies are up in the first week or thinking about someone uh, a distance from you, okay? Then I see the energy of destined. Um, a situation was destined to happen for you, fire sign. However, it is transparent. A passion that you're going through is destined to happen. Some of you, you could have met someone overseas and the spurs is coming up i see money um is affecting your relationship however it's affecting and i see some of you are in open relationship and you're having a lot of passion with this person then i see you young ladies it's all about money for you okay there is no love that is going on it's all about the money for you so this is um people between the age of 18 and uh, um 25 30 and the 30 year old to 45 i see that it's uh, um young people are in open relationship whatever is transparent you young people are in open relationship and there's a lot of gossip and it's not positive gossip about you guys so whew, be aware of this however it's happening it's not the positive gossip that is going on so remember we do the general and then we're going to be looking at uh, each and every one of you in a different way so first the general I will let you know when I'm going to be um, starting to look at uh, um, each individual sign so there is a lot of effect with love I see open relationship a lot of people could be just um, having these open relationship where they're seeing people and it's just for money in all that to heal your financial stability so I see you wallflowers are looking for a balance in your life however it's transpiring however it's happening you wallflowers are thinking of the past hoping for a new start and this new start is going to be coming in so if you do not have a relationship and you're thinking about having a relationship i see the new start is definitely going to be coming in i see some of you step back without a relationship for some time in order to find yourself and this is good then i see heartbreaks is going to be coming up heartbreaks for some of you that have a relationship um overseas so whoever have a relationship overseas i see heartbreaks is coming in for you and this person overseas so then i see love so wallflowers whoever was not in a relationship i see that your relationship is going to get better let's say you were um you were uh, um, um a mother overseas uh or you were just uh, in a relationship where your partner was never at home i see that you're going to be coming together and regain that passion um in that relationship and it's going to be good i see you need to believe in yourself and believe in a relationship that you're in that there is elin that is coming up with this relationship don't let go of this relationship because elin is definitely going to be coming up okay there's a lot of passion in the relationship 
I see embrace yourself and embrace what is going on around you because I see some of you where your partner is um, overseas I see this is going to be ending and it is something out of your control and it is because uh, this person cannot travel to see you or you can't travel to see the person so I see um, a lot of you um, there is a situation with your partner however this is happening and transpiring there's definitely a situation with your partner or your husband and it has to do with uh, um, money so some of you um, could have been in a marriage where there was a loveless marriage and it was all about materialistic stability it is coming up where people are going to be finding out whether you or someone else I see some of you are happily in open relationship and uh, these open relationship that you're in I see that people are um, yeah helping you out financially so um, a lot of you ladies could be seeing different partners because you're looking for financial help so I see that is coming up and it's all about you're having these open relationship because you need financial stability oh my god I don't know what is happening but a lot of you need to go within a lot of you need to go within people who are in open relationship that are only in this open relationship because you're looking for financial stability you need to go within go within and figure out and see and find the truth of what is going on okay all right so I see you young ladies are going to be eating the jackpot so people between the ages of, of 30 and 45 you could be eating the jackpot oh, with um, someone you're going to be meeting that is financial stable so um, it is something that you guys have been hoping and waiting for and I see that this is going to be happening so women between the ages of 30 and 50 it's going to be happening I see some of you um, you need to seek the truth about who you are and why you're doing what you're doing um, because only you can understand why you make the decision and why you do what you have done so um, I see a lot of you going within and seeking the truth because I see that some of you young ladies are seeing multiple partners and you need to find out why is it you're doing this and why is it you are um, using this method in order to find love okay it is um, you strengthen the bonds I see some of you young women or in open relationship want to strengthen the bonds with whoever you're in these relationship with and it's up to you I see a lot of you um, women between 30 and 50 are going to be healing your heart chakra whatever that was happening and transpire I see the healing of your heart chakra however this is happening and transpiring I see the healing of the heart chakra is coming up I see some of you ladies between the ages of 30 and 50 is going to be rebuilding yourself because you find out of some deceptive play that has transpired and now you're going to be rebuilding your heart chakra rebuilding yourself and having forgiveness for the people who have hurt you I see um, success and growth is coming up so I see a lot of you whatever you're doing I see whoever you are between the age of 18 and um, 30 you're in some open relationship with other people and um, you're making a lot of money but beware if it's open relationship relationship that is on the base on money it is seen as prostitutions okay so however way you will look at it that you need financial help it is seen as prostitution so whatever you're making at this moment make sure that you can um, support yourself in the future because uh, I see a lot of you young ladies uh, it's making money in a deceptive way and um, you know it's your body no one can tell you what to do but make sure that you um, plan for the future with this money okay all right so I see um healing of the heart chakra is coming in I see heartbreaks are coming up for people who have relationship with other people overseas they can't get to you you can't get to them I see you're just going to be um, ending these relationship I see balance I see um, you um, ladies so ladies that is uh, um, you know you have been the housewife the husband is now home I see your husband and yourself is trying to heal a relationship I see passion is coming back um, in a relationship for some of you it depends on who you are I see marriages especially um, you know ladies who have been um, the housewife I see 
um, balance is coming in I see whatever is transpired I see Elin is coming up so first we're going to be looking at the Leo's to find out what is transpiring with the energy of a uh, 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 no we're going to look at the Aries first I'm sorry Leo so, so we're looking first at the Aries to see what is coming out um, balance some of you Aries you have some issues war of the roses that is coming up between you and your partner so you could be at home and uh, there is just a lot of uh, the war of the roses is coming up uh, and you need to find balance between you and your partner okay so whatever is transpiring between you Aries and your partner clarity truths uh, um, revealing facts on and protection is going to be coming up because uh, whatever was transpiring with um, you ladies you stay home ladies uh, or yeah you'll stay home ladies with your partner now at home I see a lot of issues transpiring for you Aries and I see it has to do with the Aquarians and the Gemini so some of you stay home ladies you could be healing out your relationship with an Aquarian or a Gemini however this is transpiring for you but um, the you know you could have been um, you know the love of the roses the sword of the roses where um, you need to find balance in order to heal this relationship it is hard for a lot of people who are now just at home um, it is very very hard um, because your partner is now at home and um, you know you're you, you are now connected with the person it's not that a person is going to get up and go to work you're now connected with a person and i see you have to find balance in order to bring this in i see marriage and engagement is um, going to be coming up for some of you so some of you this was destined for you to happen i see that a pisces a taurus or a virgo if you're in a relationship with a pisces taurus or a virgo is going to be asking you aries to get married so however this is coming up and however this is transpiring in your world aries um, if you are married to these people I see um, it is going to be wonderful but I see they're going to be asking you to engage to get engaged to you Aries so um, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces or a Taurus or a Virgo they could be asking you Aries to get married the base chakra is that grim repeat of the future relationship is over no second chance with um, another Aries and a cancer Aries and cancer so Aries and cancer I see an ending to a relationship that is coming in however this is transpiring this ending of this relationship is coming in because of money so um, I see that because of money um, this issue and this relationship is being affected and I see that you're going to be ending a relationship or a marriage with a cancer and it has to do with money the reason why you're ending it is because uh, um, some issue with money now this has been going on for quite some time and you know um yeah okay um, you have to make the decision for yourself but if you're going to be really um, ending a relationship because of money um, you know you never there was no love in the relationship in the beginning so however that is happening and is transpiring you have to make the decision okay um, you are going to be finding out why the relationship is ending and it's because of money so if you're in a, a relationship or a marriage and it was destined to end uh, so if you're in a relationship or a marriage with a cancer I see a relationship is going to be hand now I see the ending ending bring new beginnings um, for some of you um, I see uh, Pluto Pluto and Venus Pluto and Venus uh, um, I see an ending for um, some of you that is in a relationship with a scorpion and some of you that is in a relationship with a Libran I see an ending a divorce is coming in um, for you guys so I see the separation of um, your materialistic wealth however this is happening and transpiring um, and especially um, it's going to affect you ladies so ladies um, if you were in a relationship with a scorpion or a Libran I see a separation is coming in this relationship they are not going to give you a chance or another chance however if this relationship is affecting a man or a woman I see that this relationship is now over 
however way the spell I see really an end um, to this relationship so if you um, you know were in a relationship with a, um, a can a scorpion or a Libran I see this relationship is going to be ending if you were married in a divorce so I see some of you ladies want to heal your heart chakra I see someone new is coming in um, you're going to be expressing love a message of love is going to be coming in for you ladies some of you are thinking of uh, um, um, you're going to be receiving a message from someone you ladies that you know someone is thinking about you I see a deceptiveness um, with a relationship um, where some of you ladies saw the truth um, with a relationship with a scorpion and realized that the scorpion was only in your life for money I see some of you um as you heal your art chakra um a scorpion a, um a Taurus and a Sagittarius is coming in in order to create and heal your heart chakra so you could be ending one relationship or ending a marriage and then you're going to be meeting these new people they're going to be coming in and helping you in order to learn to love yourself and realize that even though one relationship has ended there are new people who are here and new people who are going to be coming up for some of you so some of you could be ending a relationship and then a friend is going to say you know i've always been in love with you um you know what if we take the step and make the step um towards creating a, a new relationship someone is going to be coming in and helping you out so i see some sadness for some of you in relationship in this uh, month because there's twice ending of relationship and i see some sadness some real sadness and some real um, deceptive play that has transpired people are going to be seeing the truth um, about what was transpiring in their relationship so however this is coming up and this is transpiring you got to realize that sometimes relationship comes to an end but most of you areas your relationship is ending because of money so you know I think that some of you here is need to rethink rethink um, how you look at uh, um, relationships and how relationship and money play a role in your life because this is definitely what is coming up but the most beautiful thing about this is that um, what we're seeing is that some of you are going to be healing your heart chakra because I see new people coming in you have the Pluto uh, Venus and Jupiter Pluto Venus and Jupiter um, by healing the heart chakra that is saying that these people from these zodiac um, energies is going to be coming in as lovers or as friends but they're going to be expressing their love to you in order to let you know how much they love and care for you so expect to meet a scorpion a, um, a Taurus or a uh, Sagittarian in this period they're coming in in order to let you know they love you alrighty so we're moving on to the Leo's to see what is transpiring with the Leo's okay so with the Leo's of um, I see the end of the card take a chance make the risk okay so whatever is transpiring with you Leo's I see some of you Leo's was connected uh, um, Uranus and um, and and the moon so some of you um, um, Leo's have been seen an Aquarian and a cancer um, some of you Aquarians some of you cancers and I see take the chance because if you take the chance this relationship is going to be very very beautiful so whatever is to inspire Leo's I see whoever you are um, you know with at the moment and you're wondering um, you know should I take the other chance should I take the the other leap should I move in a new direction should I change the form of the relationship it is going to be a yes okay um, it is a yes to go forward if you are married to um, a, um, an Aquarian or a can um, an Aquarian it is um, you're going to be finding balance between you and this person and giving this person a chance um, if uh, um, you are in a relationship with a cancer or have been seen a cancer you're also going to be believing in the success that this relationship can also bring success in your life and this is going to be good now destiny is here between um, you Leo's and a an Aquarian now you Leo's could be divorcing 
I see Uranus and Venus. This is um, a divorce could be coming up for you guys. Um, time, um, need time, take time off. A circle is ending. Time to heal, progress. So however this is happening and transpire, I see that some of you, the energy of uh, this Aquarian, Aquarian, some of you are dealing with an Aquarian and it's as if uh, um, believe for yourself that um, it is uh, um, the energy of this was destined, whatever that was happening, whether you're in a relationship with an Aquarian, whether you're divorcing an Aquarian, whether you're having a new start with an Aquarian, it was destined for it to happen the energy of the clock is here tick 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 and destined destined um to uh, divorce destined um to be in this relationship destined to take time out from each other however this is transpiring i see you leos um it is affecting you leos that is in relationship with aquarian and in relationship with the librans okay then we're looking at money and how it affects your relationship. And they're saying that um, some of you, Leos, is, is in a karmatic relationship. And um, it is fleeted, trigger, turmoil, and it's all because of money. Let go and love yourself. So this is what I was saying um, to you younger ladies, who whoever was in a relationship that has um, to do with money. Um, however you were dealing with this relationship it was with a um a virgo and a cancer mercury mercurius in um the moon so some of you are having some issues in a relationship this is a karmatic relationship that has to do with money so your partner could have money and you're in this relationship because your partner has money and i see that um uh, some of you will be successful, but some of you won't be successful. So as we look at this relationship, whoever is in a relationship with a Virgo, um, and, and it, it, there's no love. It is a karmatic relationship. And why this relationship was created is because this Virgo was financially supporting you. So however this is coming up, it is really a karmatic relationship that you're having with this person. And I see some deceptiveness if you're in a relationship with a cancer. Some of you are going to be seeing that this cancer have been deceiving you for quite some time. That there has been another person in this cancer life. So whoever you are, you Leos have been in a relationship with a cancer. The skins are, have been deceiving you. The only way you was in this relationship is for the money, the financial support that this uh, um, cancer was giving you, but uh, there is another person. As we look, you ladies are going to be finding out about the deceptiveness in your relationship. And I see healing hearts, healing from um, the heartbreaks, freedom from this toxic relationship, relationship or addiction. Okay, so... You ladies are going to be finding out about the deceptiveness in your relationship and it has to do um, with Jupiter in Mars. So you're going to be um, realizing that if you were in a relationship with a Sagittarian and a Cancer, you're going to be finding out that they have been deceiving you. However, you're going to be finding out, you're going to be finding out that these two people have been deceiving you so be aware of this because this is the energy of uh, some of you heartbreaks from an, um, from an aquarius and then you some of you are going to be finding out heartbreaks from a sagittarius and heartbreaks from a cancer heartbreaks from a sagittarius and heartbreaks from a cancer so however this is transpiring i see you're going to be finding out the deceptiveness uh, with a couple this couple one is um, a Sagittarius and one is a Cancer. Some emotional issues, heartbreaks. Some of you are going to be rebuilding yourself from the heartbreaks of a Cancer. So there is definitely a lot that is going on. I see you young ladies are going to be feeling um, because some of you young ladies are addicted and obsessive over someone and that is creating blocks in relationship. So whatever is transpiring, I see that some of you young ladies 
uh, young ladies between the age of 18 and 45 it's going to be affecting you that you're addicted to um um a, um, um, a pisces or a cancer you're addicted to a pisces or a cancer and i see that this is just because of uh, um um the sex the what they can give to you what they can offer you and this is the reason why you are so obsessive with this person so um it's not really love you're not obsessed because no one can obsess with love it's because of what they can give you and i see that this is going to be ending and you have to find especially you young ladies between 18 and uh, 40 uh, 18 and 45 you have to find your way back and heal your heart chakra in order to realize that money is not everything and material wealth is not everything because it's coming up here and it is showing that some of you were so addicted to um the materialistic uh, um effect from what you were receiving from these people and these people are taking are, are moving themselves away from you out of your life so however way it is transpiring i see this definitely is going to be affecting you ladies so leos it's um some of you um is going to be moving on um it could be a pisces who decide to move on but some of you moving on is the energy some of you are going to be rebuilding yourself after um a disaster nest from a relationship or some of you could be moving on away from a pisces and away from a cancer and it's going to be rebuilding um your art chakra because you have re realized uh, um that this relationship doesn't really serve you okay remember in order to see the extended um of this reading you got to um use the link in order you can see exactly what is going on for you leos so i'm moving on let's um uh look at uh, um the energy of uh, um the sagittarian no sagittarian um this is a, a really rough one for you sagittarian i am seeing some of you sagittarian that has a relationship overseas i'm seeing this relationship is going to come to an end i see some of you have art breaks this relationship is definitely going to be coming to an an end i see heartbreaks and i see that some of you are just going to be realizing that there is no chance to this relationship so i see a completion um with your enemy um some of you um someone there's a malicious person there is the energy the energy of the snake is about the third party okay so a lot of you sagittarius is going to be finding out about if you are in a relationship with someone overseas you're going to be finding out or if you're in a relationship um with um someone who were born in another country or that sort of thing you're going to be finding out that there has been a third party that um this person um this woman has been seeing another person okay so if you're a man and you have um someone overseas um that is from another country uh or your partner is overseas they're seeing someone else so i see um mars and venus now Mars and venus is that your partner have met someone else so if your partner is overseas you're going to be finding out that your partner has met someone else and i see a lot of heartbreaks that is going to be coming up so um it is a general reading so go check out the extended to see how that is going to affect you so the energy of the snake is you latest could be finding out that your partner there is a third party in another state in another country but there is a third party so if you're in a relationship with an aries or with an um an, a taurus you're going to be finding out that they have met someone else overseas so it could be that you're in one country your partner is from another country there or in their country they have met someone else there is a third party and you're going to be finding out about that so as we look at passion a whole lot of you are having a lot of passion with the Pisces, with the scorpion and the liberans i see pluto and venus obsession some of you are having a lot of uh, excessive obsession with um, uh, um relationship some of you were having um a lot of passion with a scorpion and a um, liberan and now i'm seeing you're saying not today i can't deal with this 
I don't want to deal with this I want to end this I see you are taking time off for yourself because you realize that this relationship is not healthy I see the passion was good but the person becomes very obsessive and you want to remove this person out of your life so it could be a scorpion for some of you and for some of you it really could be um, an, um a Libran and I see you're not taking any calls from this person you you're trying to like create boundaries between you and this person it's as if you find that this person is obsessive um so this is positive especially for you young ladies and for the people who are in open relationships so I see abundancy um keep a positive mind I see manifest uh, exactly what you want um be grateful and bliss is coming up so this is wonderful and this is positive and what this is saying this is for the people who are in open relationship i see some of you are going to be happily um being in an open relationship with um a mercury in mars so if you're in an open relationship you could be in an op open relationship with a virgo and a cancer and i see you sagittarius are okay with it I see some of you um, are going to be finding out ooh, if you're in an open relationship um, that there is some deceptiveness um, that is transpiring and it has to do with a, um, a fire sign person, a Taurus. Um, so whatever is transpiring, you're going to be having uh, some happiness with um, um, the Pisces. But um, with the Aries, you're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness with an Aries. So if you're in a relationship, an open relationship with an Aries, you're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness with the Aries. But I see you're going to be having a lot of happiness and joy and luck with the Pisces if you're seeing a Pisces in an open relationship. Now, um, you ladies, um, young ladies, but 18, between the age of 18 and um, um, 30, I see Cupid, the love arrow. You're all in love, my darling. So I see you, uh, Sagittarians, are in love with a Gemini. Uh, uh, a Gemini. Um, and some of you are in um, are seeing this deceptiveness in a relationship uh, that has to do with an Aquarian. Um, some of you are, um, you know, finding strength to bond in a relationship so i see love is coming in i see some of you are re are healing your heart chakra because of some deceptiveness that has transpired so a lot of that is coming in where um whatever the, the issue and the situation is i see a lot of you love is coming at you okay so um young people between the age of 18 and 30 I see a lot of love coming at you and this is going to be good however way but I see some of you are rebuilding your heart chakra because of some deceptiveness that you have found out with a scorpion so whatever it is a scorpion have a, a deceive um a scorpion as deceive um you young ladies and uh, I see you're trying to rebuild your heart chakra with a cancer so it's kind of weird for you young ladies um however it is plain and it is transpiring you young ladies are going to be finding out that i can't say i've done you a whole lot of wrong whoever this cancer is and whatever that is transpiring this cancer is a very deceptive person you guys have well deserved reward where new love is coming in a whole lot of new love the energy of cupid is coming in and I see a lot, a lot of love offers is going to be coming up to you, um, young people. A whole lot of love offers. Um, and, you know, you're well deserving of this love because some of you have gone through heartaches and heartbreak. And however this is going to be affecting you ladies between the ages of 18 and 30, you deserve this well um, love that is coming in because you can see the heartaches that you guys and you had to rebuild your heart chakra. So, you know, congratulations to whoever you are out there. You deserve this. I see that... Uh, um, 
whoever these people are that was heartbroken i see new love is going to be coming in and i see a lot of people is going to be letting you know how much they love and care for you because they found out about the deceptiveness that was at play and um you are going to be successfully overcoming and healing your heart chakra and healing yourself so i see a lot of love that is going to be coming in from um, scorpions and from cancer so Sagittarians whoever you are I see a lot of this love is going to be um, coming up for you guys so, alrighty so Sagittarian enjoy be careful out there then we're moving on to the Ophiosis okay so Ophiosis let's see heartbreaks is coming in for you Ophiosis and I said it and um, you Ophiosis that have a relationship overseas um with um it could be with a capricorn um or a virgo i see reality check comes in where you realize that this person have been seeing someone else and deceiving you for quite some time so it could be that you um you're going to be finding out that if you were in a relationship with a capricorn that they're seeing a virgo or if you're in a relationship with a Virgo, that they're seeing a Capricorn. But these two people are in another country. However, this is happening in Transparn. These two people are in another country. Um, um, a, a different country. Um, it could be an island, but a different country. However, it's like whatever is transpiring, you have been seeing this person um, for quite some time a long-distance relationship and you're going to be finding out that this person have been seen a Capricorn or a Capricorn or a Virgo have been yeah that either or either if it was a Capricorn they're seen a Virgo if it's a Virgo they're seen a Capricorn so it's someone who lives in another country this is definitely another country um, it could be a man or a woman and you're going to be finding out about this Ophiosis. Then I see you're ending a relationship. Okay, you're embracing. Um, it's, it's the cycle. You're dealing with a runner. The cycle is over with this person. A runner is someone who doesn't want to be in a stable relationship. You know, and this is the, an Aquarian or a Taurus. So some of you are dealing with an Aquarian or a Taurus and this person is moving on this is a runner this person doesn't believe in um Mohan relationship this person is a, a hit and whip and they're off okay so here the cycle is going to be over with this person because whoever this person is they have no sense of staying on longer okay so Whoever this person is, I see you're going to be realizing the spell of this person. It is coming up as an Aquarian or a Taurus. It was someone you have been seeing for quite some time, but the, the person didn't want, want to, to be in a stable relationship. So they are off and they're not taking your calls anymore. However, it is transpiring. They realize that, yes, um, I got the information or I got what I wanted and they are definitely they they're looking for something new they're looking for fresh wind so whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring the cycle is over with this person it is better for you to let it go and don't break your heart anymore because this person wasn't here to stay okay you gotta know when it's time to let go this is a runner um, this is someone um, who is codependent and don't, you know, fear of intimacy. Okay, so listen, and they listen to their ego. They're fear of intimacy. They listen to their ego. Let go. All right, so we see rest and rejuvenation. And um, this is some of you are protecting yourself. I see sudden changes, shocking news, but surprising. I see emp um, empathy on on upheaving and transformation and this is good but and you're protecting yourself from this and it has to do with people who are in relationship with aquarian and cancer so whatever is transpiring i see that they're going to be finding out or you could be finding out if you're in a relationship with an aquarian and a cancer 
of a cancer some unexpected news and information that is going to be coming in about this person and the lies and deceptiveness of this person so i see rest and rejuvenation really means that you're protecting yourself from an aquarian you're protecting yourself from an aquarian and a cancer an aquarian and a cancer you're going to be hearing some shocking news about these two people um whether or not you were in relationship with either or the other some shocking sudden changes and news is going to be coming in and they're going to be finding out that these two people have done something against you ophiosa so uh, if you were either in a relationship with an aquarian or with a cancer you're going to be finding out that they have been together and they have done some deceptiveness against you some lies and deceptiveness but it's going to be coming out so expect that all right so i see um wedding rings um a you soul connection eternal love everlasting promises is going to be coming in for you ophiosis and this is good because i see the bond is going to be strengthened um between you ophiosis so if you ophiosis are in a relationship with an sagittarian or a aries i see the strengthening of the bonds and i see wedding rings so um if you're in a relationship with a sagittarius or a aries i see um wedding rings or here i see they're going to be asking you um to marry if you're already married the bonds is going to become very very stronger okay and this is absolutely good i see some of you could be um also an aries could be coming in uh, someone new and um, you're going to be ending up uh, being with this person for a very long time I see the bonds is being strengthened between you and this person I see new love is coming in for you ophiosis seductiveness okay so <laughs> a lot of you are tempted and being seductive a lot of you are going to be dating flirting in third party um relationship you're going to be finding out the third party influence is in your relationship and you're going to be receiving this message so you're definitely going to be receiving this message uh if you are in a relationship with a pisces or a taurus you're going to be receiving this message that a pisces or a taurus um is in another relationship a very seductive relationship third party you're going to be finding out that uh, you're in a third party relationship with a Pisces and a Taurus or a Taurus and a Pisces. However, this is working out and transpiring. So there is third party relationships that is coming out. I see information is going to be coming in to you to um, advise you that um, if you were in a relationship with a Pisces or a Taurus, uh, um, I see some. Um, there could be threesome that sort of a situation that is coming out and um, or you could be hearing about it or um, that is what that could be happening because a lot of people are not working um, so people are coming over and all of this a lot of um, group sex is going on and that sort of a thing so you could be also hearing um, a lot of information or yeah information is coming at you that I uh, a Pisces uh, was uh, in a relationship uh, or the third party in your relationship is a Pisces or a Taurus okay so it's about simply love ladies and gentlemen so Ophiosis your message about simply love if you want to know what is going on with the extended of uh, um, your reading use the link below in order to find um where to find the information use the link below i want to say to each and every person thank you for being here namaste until next time